top 10 new young songs. Um, if I'm honest, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm not a fan of new young. I honestly can't say I'm a fan of new young because I haven't really checked them out. Probably if you would let me hear a song here and there, then I would recognize it because he's such a iconic figure. But honestly, I've never sat down and actually listened to the guy, so that's what we're gonna do today. With the top 10 New Young songs, you know, if you can read, if you have eye holes in your skull, but otherwise, how would you come up on this video? Very top provoking questions, uh, New Young. Fuck no. I said that very uh, vaguely, but uh, that's nothing new for me. Oh my god. Fucking uh, fri well, not fridges, but uh, washing machines. Yeah, thanks for the ad, man. Thanks. I should probably shut up about ads, you know, to not promote them. Like anyone, anybody cares. What the fuck did, did she just, just say? The Godfather of Grunge. I've never heard that before. But same thing, I've never really listened to New Young so we go. <coughs> I mean, it is a pretty cool <coughs> title to be called the Godfather of Grunge. But most people would say Kurt Cobain, which isn't really true. I would say the Melvins, but there we go. Uh, but Kurt is the biggest figure in Grunge, for sure. Nobody would really look at uh, New Young since he's more of a folk rock artist, I believe. More, I want to say country, but that's not true, I believe. It's more folk in a way. More traditional rock and roll blues, I guess. And today we're counting down our picks I, want, I, I, I want to say something, but I forgot. Top 10 Neil Young songs. Oh, Heart of Gold, yeah. Gold. Yeah, I know some New Young songs. There we go. You know, I don't know them by heart, but if I see them or recognize them, then I know it. If I see it, I know it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Yeah, I've heard of those bands. He was in there, apparently. Uh, Harvest, I believe, is his big song. That's a decent tune, no? He's really fucking old though, 1970. I love me some old bands though. That's country rock. So, he is probably my favorite country artist together with um, Johnny Cash. And I want to say Credence Clearwater Revival, I think is also kind of country. So yeah, those are the only three I like so far. That is probably not, not gonna change though because I hate country, especially modern. I actually saw a um, meme. Yeah, of course, throw memes in there when you're watching something like this. But um, but I saw a meme that you know um, a plant is growing faster and faster when it listens to country. It grows faster so it can turn off the the button because country is playing. I fucking love that meme. I, I actually just saw that or something, that was pretty well. Yeah, I believe they had a beef with New Young, I don't know. Southern men don't need them around anymore, or anyhow. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that they're fine already, but you know, uh, that was some sweet karma right there, because I believe. Four out of the five members of Leonard Skinner are dead because of a plane crash. So, yeah, that is uh, karma songwriting right there. And I believe New Young is still around, so it isn't true as well. Yeah, and this is probably the song. I, I, I believe the bitch was just saying this, but I believe this is the song where he fused with Leonard Skinner. I don't know. I really don't care about feuding. 
It's not as bad as re retarded as diss tracks or something uh, in rap or as YouTubers or something. That's so retarded, but you know, with this, it's still kind of subtle. You still make good music, so it doesn't hurt it. Although, you should probably stop it after the first one, though, because otherwise, you're just gonna aggravate people and aggravate yourself as an artist, so. This crowd is fucking insane, though. That's, that's like an entire city of people, Jesus. Number nine, the needle and the damage done. Yeah, the Harvest record. Harvest is probably his best record, really. Enjoy a beer, a bit of pot, or to otherwise indulge himself, Young also bore witness to many people destroying themselves with drug use. How many fucking records does he have? Jesus Christ. I'm gonna count them. Released in February of 72, this tune was written about Crazy Horse guitarist and heroin user Danny Witten. Young was forced to fire Witten from his touring band later that year as he was unable to properly perform. I sing the song because I love the man. I know the song again. Yes, 43 records, Jesus Christ. And he released two records in the same year in 2006. That's pretty wild. Oh my god, man. Just hang it up, man. Release the rec record last year. Jesus. I've never heard of that, really. Fuck no. He's one of those trooper artists that keeps... That goes on. And goes while nobody listens anymore. He's with his uh, acoustic guitar making a record each year. That is approximately every year a record in 40, you know, 46 albums. It's like a record every year, really. That's insane. And if you look at it, he really, yeah. He really makes a record every year. Sometimes two a time or sometimes two years off. He's fucking insane, man. Two years off, one year off, one year off, four years off, two years off, one, two. One, 2006, two records in the same year, one year off, two years off, one year off. He took two years off and made two records in 2012 as well. Fucking hell, man. He made two records in 2014, two years later. Fucking hell, man. He makes way too many records, 2015, 2016, and he made two records in 2017. Fucking hell, New York. He, he, he takes like two years off and makes two records, man. It's not, it's not even special anymore. Fucking insane. But maybe they're all good, really. Because I believe that New York is one of the most highly rated artists ever, so they must be all good, which is pretty impressive. Number seven, helpless. To be so consistent and, you know, release records in the same year, that's pretty wild. Written by Young and recorded during a stint with CSNY, the lyrics of Helpless call Harvest, yeah, Harvest is the masterpiece. Ontario. The Young family moved to the sleeping community when Neil was four. Everybody knows this is nowhere a masterpiece. After the gold rush is a masterpiece. Harvest is a masterpiece. Time fades away is great. On the beach is a masterpiece. Tonight is the night is a masterpiece. Zuma is great. Long may you run is disappointing. American stars and bars is alright. Comes the time is great. Rust never sleeps is a masterpiece. Fucking hell, man. Life Rust is a masterpiece. Hawks and Doves is disappointing. Reactor is disappointing. Trance is disappointing. Number six, Old Man. A lot of uh, songs from Harvard, though, although he has 46 records, that's pretty well. It sounds pretty good, though, pretty relaxed. Everybody's rocking his bath. Old ways is mediocre. Landing on water is bad. 
Life is mediocre. <laughs> it really is. It really is. This nose for you is mediocre. Freedom is great. Oh, what the fuck is this look right there, really? Oh my god. Not his best look in the uh, on Freedom era. Rex Glory is great. Wealth is great. Ark is bad. Wow. Ark Wealth is great. I believe this is the same record. Harvest Moon is great, which sounds pretty good. Harvest Moon. Cover, cover looks pretty great as well. Oh, the co cover's pretty awesome though. There we go. Uh, this sounds recognizable. Yeah, I've heard of this song. Uh, he sounds everywhere here, really. That's not pretty good. Freedom. Sleep with Angels is good. Or Alright, Mirror Ball is alright. Dead Man is alright. Broken Arrow is mediocre. There's so many records. Uh, Year of the Horse is alright. Silver and Gold is alright. Road Rock is mediocre. Are you passionate? Is bad. Green Deal is alright. <coughs> Perry Wind is alright. Living with War is mediocre. What is this? Oh yeah. Everyone knows this is nowhere. I've heard of this song, I believe. Chrome Dreams too. Fork in the Road is mediocre. The Noise is alright. Americana is alright. Psychedelic Pill is great. Letter Home is bad. Storytelling is mediocre. The Monsanto years are, is alright. Earth is alright. Peace Thrill is alright. The Visitor is bad. And Paradox original music from the film is also bad. Which is which is released this year, fucking hell man. Just hang it up already man. Hey hey my my into the black. Oh yeah, I know the song. Hey hey my Yeah, I know the song. They play the song a shitload on the radio. For you know, short lived genre must be your thing, but oh my god, can you, can you quote anybody else other than Nirvana? Really, there are so much other great grunge bands out there Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, Stone Temple Pilots, Fucking Screaming Trees, Melvins. Uh, Mother Love Bug. There's so many great grunge bands, man. Fucking hell. Uh, from what is this? Harvest, yeah, there we go. That Harvest record is really good, isn't it? Fucking hell. Or he couldn't play it. Maybe that's the reason. Well, he can play electric, but his notes are really incoherent. They really are. You know, watch that Stevie T video where he play, where he imitates New York. 
I believe that was in the 80s, but where you play really an incoherent magic, really does. Is, uh, is New Young on the greatest uh, artist list? He must be. I mean, he is really iconic. He must be on the list. Yeah, he's 34 or what? What was his picture again? Alright. But he's on the list. That's right. Well, narrated by Flea or talked over by Flea, fucking hell. Nothing against Flea, but to do New Young, alright. Uh, Mr. Soul by Buffalo Spring, Springfield, uh, self titled. Ohio by Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young so far. They look, they look a bit like um, Ringo and John Lennon, really. We are the, the right, the, the two on the right. Cowgirl on the sand, everybody, everybody knows this is nowhere. Cowgirl, fucking hell. That's probably the most outdated word ever, really. Powderfinger, Rush, Rush Never Sleeps. This is a great title, by the way, Rush Never Sleeps. Rust in peace, I mean, come on. October rust. Oh, great. Down by the river, everybody knows there's nowhere. It's funny how he has like 46 records I've read, and Watch Mojo only mentions like this one and Harvest. And those are the only two. Talk about Past Prime. Quartz the killer. I mean, what is number one, really? You know, if it comes on, I know it. It's it's always the obvious number one pick, but I can't think of it right now. Probably self-titled from Harvest, if that is a thing. I love Harvest, you know, the, the open song. Uh, but I don't know if Neil Young has a song like that, probably. If I hear it, I know it. I know that for sure. Is it? Uh, uh, I don't want to say it from Harvest, but maybe. It's probably not. Number one, after the gold rush. Uh, I, I don't think I know this though. No, not really. Maybe if I had a studio version. This song was written as a soundtrack to an unmade film, also of the same title. He looks like a fucking nerd in that uh, in this performance. Young was inspired by a script penned by friend and neighbor Dean Stockwell. And he looks uh, like coconut head or something. Fuck no. Not hating on uh, Neil, but he looks really nerdy. And I believe often I had a problem with that that I criticize people on their looks, but you know it's it is just kind of ridiculous to look at him. But the music is good. I'm not complaining about his music. But as for what the song is about. You know, but if I check out rock and roll stars and they dress up like like that, it looks a little bit odd though, don't you think? That's my only criticism, really. You're just a hater, ominous. Somebody called me that, but I really don't care. I mean, I kind of am a hater, but like the music, so... Rocky. That's a good movie though. Uh, it's alright. I'm not really feeling Neil Young. I mean I can't deny his greatness but it's just alright I think. Fucked up. For more free world rocking top ten published every day, be sure to subscribe to watch. Yeah, this one. 
rocking in free, yeah, rocking in free world. It's a guitar. Just what he does with his guitar there, that's so crazy. But it were the 80s though, so being ridiculous wasn't really that old. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I actually forgot to set the timer, so that's, uh, that's kind of ass. Uh, we can check out the comments, but I can, probably can't relate with them. My personal New York song is Sample and Hold. Yeah, I'm not gonna re relate with these uh, top 10s or with these comments. Ohio should have been in the top 10. Top 10 Deep Purple songs. Yeah, they did uh, Deep Purple songs. I'm not sure. I'm not. I I'm actually not sure if they um, if I reacted to it already. Really, I'm not sure. Uh, may yeah, I'm probably gonna look it up, and after that, I'm gonna end it because I do love me some Deep Purple. Uh, probably one of the most underrated rock bands for sure. Really, I mean they, because they are kind of a uh, you know they are something like maybe you know Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath made a baby. Deep Purple, there we go. Although, in Deep Purple was earlier before Black Sabbath doesn't, and I believe before Led Zeppelin, so that actually doesn't make any sense. Um, yeah, but I believe I haven't done anything about Deep Purple, or I, I, I believe they're actually requested, really. I believe they are requested, but I haven't done them yet. Maybe. I have like 80, you know, a uh, music fan wants to request something again in like a month or something, but I, I, I still have like fucking 80 um, requests. Yeah, 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 a top 20 purple songs. Will we'll come in 60 episodes, so stay tuned for that, fucking hell. Which is approximately 120 days because I, you know, release uh, a video now every two days because reception isn't really that well. So I don't really want to spam you guys with content, but you know, just let it sit there for a bit, let it uh, view, let it get views, let it grow out for a bit. You know, that, that is my uh, logical explainment. Because I've re released now my uh, Saturday video, it doesn't have any comment or like on it, so I'm not really, um, you know, um, I'm just not really feeling, um, Uploading then, you know, the next day. And um, actually, off time guitarist uh, respond. He is kind of edgy right now. He's doing really edgy, really edgy shit. I, I'm not want to want to call him name right right now because gotta respect your fans. Oh uh, yeah, but they have 15 and 18 views uh, respectively, and they don't have any like or comment. So I'm not really feeling uploading, you know, then. If, if the reception is lukewarm, which it mostly is, but just something cracks me up, but but you know, it's nothing. So maybe if it does get something, I will upload to, today, but probably not. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, let me know what you think about New Young. This went way off track, but uh, that's what happens when I don't really care about an artist. I do want to give New Young a chance because I do like his music, but it is kind of boring for me, you know, I like something heavier or more progressive in a way. So, you know, progressive rock, heavy metal, grunge. Uh, he is the godfather of grunge, but, but I would say that this uh, Melvin's or maybe even Soundgarden, really. Because Soundgarden was earlier than, uh, than Nirvana, though Nirvana was pretty early in 89. But in my opinion... Um, Yes, Soundgarden is better anyway, so, you know, if, if you want to discuss that, there we go. But, um, there we go, I love all of this band, by the way, that I just mentioned, but, um, uh, let me know what you think about Grunge, let me know what you think about New Young in general, so there we go. Godfather of Grunge, I, I think it's BS, but uh, maybe you think um, it's true, so let me know, um, let's argue in the comments down below. I'm excited to see you there. If you will be there, but uh, we will see about that. Thank you guys for watching this video. God bless, safe, take care, and peace.